GNX Wind has four primary data fields. Upper left is where you're going to get your wind angle information. True wind angle, apparent wind angle, and true wind direction. Off center is your wind rose, represented by a boat with red and green port and starboard. It has ticks every 45 degrees to help you reference the wind around your boat. It is red from the bow to the stern on one side and then bow to the stern on the other side. In this case, I'm in 0 to 180, so it's 0 here at the stern is 180. It would also be red from 0 to 180 on the other side. This fan that you see moving here is my apparent wind angle. So right now my apparent wind angle is about 80 degrees. Because this is 0, that would be 180. Approximately middle is 90. If my true wind was showing, I'd have another single line somewhere around there. In this situation, we are in 0 to 180 wind rose span. I can change that to 0 to 60, which is close hauled for sailing into the wind very tight, or I can change it for TWD, which is true wind direction. If I had close hauled, I'd have a CH in the middle. If it was true wind direction, I'd have TWD in the middle. Also, you'll notice that there is a wireless connection symbol there. I do not have a wireless transducer, so it is not connected. The bottom left is where you're going to get your speed information. Apparent wind speed, true wind speed, boat speed, VMG. It can be measured in knots, meters per second, and miles per hour. These are all programmable.